They've been right under your feet all along, and you never knew. That ugly rock in your backyard, it might be a diamond in disguise. Beneath the surface of rivers, mountains, and dry valleys lies Earth's most coveted secret, raw diamonds. Unlike the sparkling jewels in rings and museums, these diamonds wear a cloak of camouflage. In their natural state, they're rough, cloudy, and easy to mistake for worthless stones. But if you know the clues, the hidden patterns, the geological whispers, you can spot them. Welcome to a world where science meets treasure hunting. This is how raw diamonds hide in plain sight. Forget the perfectly cut sparkle. Real diamonds start off looking like dull pebbles. Most raw diamonds are octahedral or cubic in shape, but erosion can soften their form. They often appear greasy, translucent to opaque, and vary in color from pale yellow to brown or even gray. Some may show a waxy luster or slight metallic glint under strong light, but never the blinding shine you expect. Their surfaces can be pitted, cracked, or rounded from being tumbled in rivers for thousands of years. And here's the kicker. Many raw diamonds are hidden inside host rocks or kimberlite pipes, looking just like ordinary rubble. Unless you've trained your eyes, you'll likely walk past them. To find a raw diamond, don't just look at the stones, study their neighborhood. The most common host rock is kimberlite, a deep earth volcanic rock that forces diamonds to the surface during engine eruptions. Kimberlite looks bluish gray when fresh and crumbly or yellow brown when weathered. Lamperite is another one. It's rarer but has brought up some large stones in Australia and India. Both rocks might contain olivine, garnet, ilmenite, and magnetite, mineral indicators that suggest diamond potential. If you spot a crumbly blue-gray rock with a peppering of green or red crystals, stop. That's a strong signal. Diamonds form under extreme pressure and temperature deep in the earth. Over time, volcanic activity pushes them up via pipes. So, where do you look? Ancient Cratons. These are old, stable pieces of Earth's crust where diamonds formed billions of years ago. Southern Africa, parts of Canada, Siberia, and the Guyana Shield in South America are examples. In riverbeds, look for places where erosion could have freed diamonds from their host rock. Bends, drop-offs, natural riffles, and bedrock cracks. Glacial activity also helps spread diamond-rich rocks across wide areas. In parts of Canada and the U.S., glacial till contains diamond-bearing material transported thousands of miles. Quartz, calcite, apatite, topaz. These are some of the imposters that trick even experienced hunters. They can have similar transparency or shapes, but here's how to tell. Hardness. Diamonds rank 10 on the Mohs scale. They can scratch glass, metal, and most other stones. Thermal conductivity. They disperse heat almost instantly. This is used in handheld diamond testers. Specific gravity diamonds are denser than most other minerals. They feel heavier in your hand. Shape. Look for natural faces, triangular or square, on the surface, often forming an octahedron. If it shatters or scratches easily, it's not a diamond. In 2015, a farmer in Lesotho found a dull, brownish rock while planting vegetables. It turned out to be a 478-carat diamond, worth millions. In Arkansas's Crater of Diamonds Park, visitors have stumbled upon stones worth thousands just by digging through surface dirt. Most weren't sparkling. They were dusty, greasy-looking, even ugly. But to the trained eyes, they were unmistakable. These stories aren't myths. They're proof that raw diamonds don't call attention to themselves. They whisper. Your best tools, knowledge and observation. When in the field, examine texture and shape in strong light. Use a loop or magnifying glass to check for natural crystal faces. Learn to feel weight differences. Bring a scratch plate or piece of glass for quick hardness tests. Also, keep your eyes open for indicator minerals, tiny red garnets, black ilmenite, and green olivine. From Canada's Northwest Territories to the Guyana Shield and the vast plains of Southern Africa, nature has scattered diamonds across vast regions, but they're hidden in silence. In the U.S., try the Arkansas Crater Park. In South America, Brazil and Guyana have alluvial fields still yielding stones. And in Australia, the Ellendale and Argyle regions continue to produce industrial-grade diamonds. Wherever ancient volcanoes once raged and rivers now run, you might be standing on treasure.
You've seen how raw diamonds can hide in plain sight, but now it's time to sharpen your instincts and uncover the subtle clues that even geologists miss. Diamonds rarely travel alone. They're accompanied by specific minerals that act like breadcrumbs to their location. These include garnet, especially pyrope garnet, deep red and often rounded. They indicate high pressure origins. Ilmenite, a black metallic mineral, often magnetic, commonly found in kimberlite pipes. Chromite, dark brown to black, highly reflective and heavy. Olivine, pale green, glassy, and often weathered to a yellow-brown crust. When these show up together in stream sediment or gravel, it's time to dig deeper, literally. Over thousands of years, wind, water, and ice transport diamond-bearing material far from its source. Here's how nature does the hard work. Rivers. Water cuts through host rock, freeing diamonds and rolling them into downstream bends and bedrock traps. Glaciers. These frozen bulldozers crush, carry, and scatter diamond-rich till across vast landscapes, leaving behind hidden treasures. Erosion. Rain and wind chip away at volcanic rock, exposing what's beneath. By studying how terrain and erosion intersect, prospectors map likely zones where raw diamonds might accumulate. Without expensive equipment, here's how expert prospectors identify diamonds. 1. The Scratch Test Diamonds scratch anything. A simple piece of glass or steel can help you rule out lookalikes. 2. Transparency Check Real diamonds transmit light, but not clearly. Hold it over text. If you can read letters through it, it's not a diamond. 3. Crystal Faces Look for naturally flat surfaces and sharp edges. Diamond crystals form in distinct geometric patterns. 4. Weight Comparison Diamonds are heavier than they look. Hold similar size stones and compare their weight. 5. Thermal Conductivity While field testers use this property, in the wild it comes down to feeling how quickly a stone loses warmth to the touch. Master these skills and you'll have a better eye than most. Prospecting often leads to heartbreak, chasing fool's diamonds. Here's what often confuses people. Quartz crystals. These are transparent, shiny, and often form in clusters, but they lack the greasy luster and weight. Topaz. Very similar in shape and feel, but softer than diamond. Calcite. Easily scratches. If you find dissolves in vinegar, it's definitely not a diamond. Also avoid buying from unknown sellers claiming to offer raw diamonds. Without lab verification, it's easy to be fooled. When you start seeing a combination of kimberlite float rocks, streams with heavy black sands, red garnets and sediment, unusual rounded crystals with natural faces, you're likely near a source. Stay alert for unexplainable clusters of minerals or unusually heavy gravel. Diamond-bearing areas often seem geologically odd. Trust that gut feeling. Raw diamonds don't glitter to get your attention. They rely on your patience, persistence, and knowledge. Some search for years before finding one. Others stumble upon them while hiking or gardening. But the real key? Knowing what you're looking for. Once your brain is trained to spot patterns, the luster, the weight, the shape, you begin to see what others miss. Your discovery could become part of your country's geological record or a life-changing asset. They say diamonds are forged in fire, but they survive in silence. They lie beneath dust, tucked into forgotten corners of the earth, waiting for eyes trained by curiosity and courage. You don't need a fortune to find one, just the knowledge, the patience, and a willingness to see what others ignore. So next time you walk through a dry stream, a rocky hill, or a forgotten field, look closer. The world's hardest natural treasure might be hiding in your hands. This has been a field-level look into the hidden world of raw diamonds, where science meets survival and beauty wears a disguise. Subscribe for more gemstone intelligence and stay sharp.